Guys, for today's amazing feat of uh, absolute stupidity, I bring you the drone. I'm gonna try to fly this up over this tree without crashing it and uh, deliver this line, which will deliver this antenna somewhere out here. This time on K6UDA Radio. Oh man. Special drone delivery for K6UDA. Hey, we're gonna put up an antenna today using the drone. I have no idea if this is gonna work or if I'm gonna crash this thing. This could be a fiery ball of hot mess. Either way, it'll be entertaining for you. Let's get busy. So here's my bright idea. I'm gonna take my 80 meter dipole. And I'm gonna string it from this tree here to this tree over here. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with how an 80 meter dipole works, it's 130 feet long. It is fed by this uh, balanced line, which becomes part of the antenna. Now the theory behind this is made by guys much smarter than me a long, long time ago. My low-tech bright idea is to simply use some strapping tape and tape uh, the string to the drum. Because I don't want the string to get hung up in the tree, I've got to use a nut string and have it uh, tangle free to get me all the way over the tree. We will see if this is a this is a good idea. Or not. Here we go. Because prior planning prevents piss poor performance and I didn't charge the batteries on the drone before I started this little experiment, the drone decided to land before I wanted it to. That means I get to do this all over again. Yay. Ho ho. So in theory, Wow. So in theory, it works. All right, here we go again. With a whole bunch of extra paracord, I was able to get this thing all the way over the tree and land my simple little Mavic drone on the other side. Now, putting up Ooh. the second leg, here's where things started uh, to go not, terribly, terribly wrong. Not good. You see, I had cut off a good portion of the paracord that I had used for leg number one. I was trying to raise this antenna using the actual antenna and that is not a good idea because it is way too heavy for this drone. So it kept trying to kind of pull the drone 
Now the good news is I am tethered all the way onto the drone so that drone is not getting away and going anywhere. Uh, the worst thing that can happen is it would just crash in a fiery ball of hot mess and uh, mission aborted. So the next morning I was able to get fresh paracord, fresh batteries, a great new attitude, and I got this baby hung. The 75 feet of uh, ladder line. I'm gonna need a whole bunch more to make it to the uh, to make it over there. Success. I've got an antenna hung in the air, probably 25 feet up. This is a long ass antenna, guys. This is 130 feet of wire up in the air, but it's a no compromise 80 meter antenna. Let's see how it does. All right, and I'm back in the shack with the 7300, the 705. Uh, 7300 currently hooked up to that 80 meter dipole out there. Because science, I had to add all that feed line and I really don't have any idea how much I had to begin with because the antenna went up in the air before I had a chance to measure it. Oh well, bad on me. We call that the scientific wild ass guess. Because 40 meters is not so happy here, uh, it's currently resting on that antenna at about seven to one. Well, the internal ICOM tuners won't handle anything much more than a three to one mismatch. The 7300 wasn't doing so hot on 40 meters. Uh, everything else, it was just cruising along. 40 meters, uh-uh. This last weekend, I was playing on the Idaho QSO party and I actually used the 705 with the Elecraft amp hooked up to it. So uh, I ran the entire contest on the 705. Right after the contest ended, I remembered, oh, I have another tuner sitting here. So I hooked that up, 7300 is happy now. Now this pissed me off just a little bit. Uh, when you used the repeat button and you've got the ALC line hooked up to the Elecraft amp, uh, the repeat doesn't work. Guys, let me tell you, when you're working pileups, a contest, or soda, that can be a big deal. The other thing I really missed in this contest was the ability to be hands-free because there's no headset adapter for the 705 yet. So typing over 100 entries was a pain in the ass. So guys, a no compromise dipole antenna is cheap to build. I built this thing out of basically spare parts, old wire that was in the garage. I bought a strain relief and I bought some 450 ohm ladder line and originally a very short 10 foot piece of coax to terminate that ladder line outside my shack at my old house. One of the speed secrets here is there are some lengths of ladder line you want to avoid. I'm not going to go into all those lengths. You can look them up yourself. The other thing, all that ladder line that's in the air needs to be suspended by something not touching things. If you can possibly keep it from like sitting on your roof or stapled to a building or something like that, that will help you immensely with the ladder line. Otherwise, the beauty of having that balanced line out there is I could literally run a thousand feet of it. Damn telemarketers. Look, uh, like I was saying, the beauty of ladder line is you could have a thousand feet of this stuff outside your window or, you know, in free space. It doesn't have any loss. Coax has lost for every foot or yard of coax. You're going to have a certain amount of loss. Zero with this. Uh, run as much as you want. 
thousands of feet, it'll carry the whole signal. That's it for our time together this time. Like this video if you do, subscribe if you haven't, check out the email and uh, my address there if you got something to send me. I will catch you guys later. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3.